I just did a video on the main generation tech channel about the Imperial Prison Complex. I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out. Anyway, I was confused by what these prisoners were making. They kind of looked like mechanical arms you might see on a manufacturing line. But then a bunch of sharp-eyed viewers on my channel pointed out that this might be K2SO's leg or arm, or at least a KX security droid's leg and arm. There are some similarities, but I'm not 100% convinced just yet. Also, we would need to remove some of this armor to see what the joints actually look like. The material definitely looks similar, and the size is right, but the configuration is a little bit off. Now, some fans have further speculated that maybe Andor will reprogram one of the KX security droids to help him free him from incarceration, and that that droid will become KS-20. I think it's definitely a possibility, although that would require some of the existing lore to be rewritten, which actually has been done in the Andor series so far. Now, in 2017, the Rogue One, Cassian, and K-2SO special came out, and it was a one-shot comic dedicated to telling the story of when these two guys meet. Andor was sent on a mission to extract some Imperial security protocols from an Imperial base with the aid of two rebel spies who were also twins. During the mission, K2SO tries to apprehend Cassian in a very similar way to how he was grabbed on Nymo by another KX security droid, but this time Cassian was ready and with the help of the sisters, they managed to disable the unit. Andor would proceed to reprogram the KX security droid, possibly with the knowledge he picked up from his prison stint. Although K2SO's Imperial programming wasn't completely overwritten and he still tries to kill Andor a few more times during the mission, this was the beginning of a beautiful relationship.